Eleanor Roosevelt once said, you gain strength, courage, and confidence every time that you look fear in the face. If you're threatened by the storms of your own life today, if you're feeling fearful, know that there is help that is at hand. Let me read you Matthew 8, 26. Jesus said to them, Why are you fearful? You of little faith. And then Jesus got up and rebuked the winds and the seas, and there was a great calm. Now this is a powerful story, because a storm rose quickly on the Sea of Galilee. Storms do rise quickly on that sea, out of nowhere. And the disciples were afraid. This time they were afraid for their own lives. Yes, they had seen Jesus perform miracles before for others, but now they were afraid for themselves. And so they turned to Jesus, and he calmed the waters and the wind. Well, sometimes we, like the disciples feel threatened by our own storms of life. And I don't know what that storm is for you. Perhaps it's an illness. Perhaps it's a financial problem. Perhaps it's a relationship problem where, where you just don't know what to do and you're so fearful about the future. Well, when we are fearful, thankfully, we can turn to the Christ for courage to infill us. I'm talking about complete courage. Top of your head to the bottom of your feet courage. The next time you're afraid, remember that God who calmed the wind and the seas is also able to calm your heart and your mind. And God will save you from yourself. God will save you from all the fears and, and the reactions that you would react to ordinarily that would cause more disaster to come in your life. God will save you if you simply trust in God. And then, rather than feeling threatened by the storms of life, you will face them with a courage and you'll come through them, each and every one, calmly. 